So I had a little bit of an epiphany today about the nature of what I'm doing and just about how I'm feeling. I'm in Santa Barbara in California and uh, I don't even know what day it is today. I think it's the 20th. And I've been feeling really like, I don't know what I've been doing. It's been feeling really perilous. Like I really feel like, I mean, that's what I am. I'm ostensibly, you know, homeless while I'm doing this. And there's so many homeless in California and I just, so many troubled people and people with all kinds of issues. I mean, we all have our issues, but, you know, there's people on the street and, you know, I've been feeling like I'm one of them and I've been feeling like it's really coming down to me, like how hard life is and, you know, how the choices, you know, the choice of doing something like this can really be, it can really be hard at times and really be scary and sad and super lonely and feel really precarious and perilous and, um, you know, I'm dealing with those feelings a lot lately and uh, feeling really hopeless and thinking a lot, like, man, maybe I should just get a bus ticket and go home and maybe this sh should just be it. And, but then I, I came to this park just to sit down and eat these <laughs> bagels that I guess they leave at the local library for the for the homeless. They just like get these dumpster dive bagels and put them in a box and drop them off where there are no homeless people are hanging out. So I took one of these bags of, of bagels and uh, that's going to be my dinner for tonight. And uh, I found these groups of kids inside the park. They were all like foreign, like foreign exchange students are here learning English at this park in, in, Santa, in Santa Barbara. I didn't even know. Uh, is this Santa Barbara? <laughs> I don't even know the name of the, I don't even know the name of the uh, park, but it's just this park. And I found these kids and I performed for them and they didn't go great. It was okay. I did a Romeo and Juliet scene for them and then I did a, a Twelfth Night scene for some folks over on the other side who were really kind of nasty to me. They were pretty disrespectful as I was trying to perform. I got through it and I just I just worked my way through the scene, you know. Um, but the one thing that I realized is that even if it's not going well, if I'm performing, everything feels okay. And when I go a long time without performing, when I'm not performing, that's when I start to feel like, because that's why I'm out here. That's the purpose of this. So if I'm not doing it, I start to feel really like, I don't know, really lost and really scared. But if I am performing, then I don't know, things feel a lot better and I feel all right. So I don't know, I just kind of realized that today. and makes it even more important that I push to perform as much as I can as I'm going up. I didn't do much in Los Angeles. I haven't done much coming up to Southern California at all. You know, I just realized today I've gone like almost five, six days without performing. And I feel really rusty. And I don't know. It's probably not a revelation to anyone else, but uh, it's pretty... It was a big deal for me to realize that today. That everything feels okay if I'm performing. Nonetheless, I do feel lately really scared and really alone. Not at all that I should quit, even though I'm again I'm super broke and super by myself. You know, I have friends waiting for me in Oakland and San Francisco. You know, I'm about a week, maybe two weeks from them. You know, and there's people in warm showers I could stay with here and there and whatever. So, I don't know. I know I just gotta keep plugging, right? This is happening for a reason. Anyway, um, God is good. Hope you're all doing well. I miss you. If <laughs> you think I'm talking to you, I am. Uh, even if I don't know ya. And, uh, I hope you're all doing well. God bless Spirit Bear out.